Designed initially to explore the Gale Crater on Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission, NASA's Curiosity rover was launched from Cape Canaveral on November 26, 2011 and landed inside the Gale Crater on Mars on August 6, 2012. The size of a four-door family sedan, Curiosity completed a 350 million mile journey when it was less than one and a half miles from its targeted touchdown. Curiosity's objective was to investigate Martian climate and geology and assess if environmental conditions were favorable for microbial life. It would also go on to conduct planetary habitability studies in preparation for human exploration of Mars. For three Martian years, or nearly six years to us on Earth, Curiosity had been examining the air above the Gale Crater, or more specifically, the crater's near equatorial exploration site. With the aid of its sample analysis at Mars, or SAM Portable Chemistry Lab, Curiosity can determine not only what the surface atmosphere is made of, but also how its gases change across seasons. According to NASA, many of the gases found on Mars are very well behaved. However, the SAM experiment returned unexpected results when analyzing one of the gases. To NASA's surprise, the gas showed the presence of oxygen. Scientists have long known of the presence of carbon dioxide on Mars, which makes up 95% of the planet's atmosphere. The carbon dioxide freezes out over the poles in winter and sublimates back into gas in the summer. In the thin air surrounding the Gale Crater, Curiosity's measurements were able to read tiny amounts of inert argon and nitrogen periodically rising and falling as expected. This is due to the seasonal cycling of carbon dioxide. This discovery suggests that an unknown source is making or unleashing stores of oxygen in the warmer months and trapping it during frigid ones. NASA scientists question if it could be geological, chemical, atmospheric, or perhaps even a biological process. The best guess is that it appears to be a localized event that could certainly be regional or a global anomaly. The consensus is that there is not enough known about Mars' planetary chemistry to solve this mystery. Specifically, how gases are transported above and within the planet, and what sources they have, remains deeply uncertain. NASA scientists believe events in Mars' past could have conspired to lock away vast amounts of oxygen below ground, which is now, for some reason, surging back into the atmosphere. This oxygen mystery is reminiscent of the presence of methane on Mars that recently surfaced. Although Martian air contains a persistent low background level of methane, for years multiple independent groups of scientists have claimed detections of dramatic, unpredictable spikes in the gas's atmospheric abundance. Curiosity spotted one such spike in 2013, and another substantially greater one in 2019. Puzzlingly, many ground-based methane detections have not been corroborated by atmosphere-probing spacecraft high above the Martian surface, including the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express. Underscoring these recent developments, an Ohio scientist claims to have found photographic proof of insect and reptile-like life on Mars. William Romazur, a professor who specializes in arbovirology and entomology at Ohio University, has compiled photographs from NASA Mars rovers that he says are evidence of life on Mars. There has been and still is life on Mars, Romazur said in a statement. Romazur's detractors claim his evidence for his alleged Martian life comes only from his interpretation of these photographs as he asserts in his findings he presented on November 19, 2019 at the National Meeting of the Entomological Society of America, the images shows the shapes of life forms that look similar to reptiles and bee-like insects. 
According to the statement, these observations are both fossilized and living creatures on the surface of Mars. There is apparent diversity among the Martian insect-like fauna, which display many features similar to Terran insects that are interpreted as advanced groups. For example, the presence of wings, wing flexion, agile gliding and flight, and variously structured lug elements, Romas are said about the supposed life forms. According to David Madison, a professor in the Integrative Biology Department at Oregon State University, this proof is likely just an example of pareidolia, a phenomenon in which people see patterns in random data. Pareidolia is the perception of a recognizable image or meaningful pattern where none exists or is intended, as the perception of a face in the surface features of the moon. Despite the opposition to Madison's claims, researchers continue to extensively study the Martian landscape, soil, history, and atmosphere. And while scientists actively search for signs of life, compiling data that might one day serve as evidence for past or present life on Mars or beyond, there exists no concrete proof of any life forms on Mars or elsewhere beyond Earth for that matter. In recent news, a bold plan to send a rover to Mars to collect rock samples and then fly them back to Earth is forming as part of a joint project between NASA and the European Space Agency. The $7 billion plan recently won support from NASA authorities, and member states of the European Space Agency are expected to give their backing to the plan too. The complex trip, known as Mars Sample Return, will ultimately aim to bring back just half a kilogram of rocks to Earth and will take more than a decade to achieve. The belief is that the colossal effort could be worth it as it will provide the best chance for in-depth analysis of rocks from certain parts of the planet with the hopes of revealing whether there has ever been life on Mars. The plan requires no fewer than three heavy rocket launches from Earth, as well as the first ever rocket takeoff from another planet to launch the return journey. Additionally, geologists will also be able to learn more about the past environments of the red planet, which previously had a thicker atmosphere and liquid water on its surface like Earth. The whole project will overlap the existing Mars 2020 rover mission, set to launch in July. The car-sized rover will touch down near the Jezero Crater, a fossilized river delta in Mars's northern hemisphere, thought to be 4 billion years old. With its six wheels and suite of high-tech instruments, the rover will explore the surrounding rocks for evidence that alien microbes once lived on the red planet. For the Mars Sample Return Project, the rover will drill into the rock and then store cores in the purpose-built tubes, which can then be stored within the craft or cached for later retrieval. In 2028, a second craft will be launched from Earth and land on Mars this will then find the samples and load them into a rocket. The rocket will be fired from the surface of Mars up to a satellite in orbit around the planet. The craft will then return to Earth and the samples will be ejected and are forecast to crash down in the desert in the US state of Utah in 2031. To conclude this video, we will finish out with some stunning images of Mars, courtesy of Curiosity. This mosaic, taken at the rover's landing site in the Gale Crater, was created by using 27 images from its mast-mounted left navigation camera. Looking at Curiosity's landing site in color reveals the gravelly area surface of the Gale Crater. The terrain falls off into a depression, and beyond that is a boulder-strewn, red-brown rim of moderately-sized impact crater. Further off in the distance, there are dark dunes and then the layered rock at the base of Mount Sharp. This image from the Mars Hand Lens Imager camera shows a small bright object on the ground beside the rover. The object is about half an inch long and the rover team believes this object to be debris from the spacecraft, possibly from the events of landing on Mars. This is the shaler outcrop taken during the 120th day of Curiosity's mission. Its dramatically layering pattern suggests evidence of past stream flow in some locations.